So we are going to do this magazine called Would You Munch a Plant for Lunch? And here is the magazine. It says, Would You Munch a Plant for Lunch? Animals think plant parts are yummy. What part of the plant is this giraffe eating? So we look at the part that the giraffe is eating. Hmm, what would you say that these are? I think these are the leaves of the plant. All right, so let's watch this video called Parts of a Plant. Parts of a Plant. These are roots. This is a stem. And these are leaves. On their own, these plant parts don't do very much. But each part has a job. And together, they make a growing, thriving, incredible plant. Roots grow underground. One of their main jobs is to keep the plant in the ground. Because of their roots, you don't see plants blowing away in the wind. Roots also absorb, or suck up, water and nutrients from the soil. Plants need water and nutrients to live. Some roots are tasty. The part of the carrot plant that we eat is the root. Above the roots is the stem. The stem carries water up from the roots to the rest of the plant. The stem has another important job. It holds the plant's branches, flowers, and leaves out in the sun. Plants need sunlight to live. The leaf's job is to soak up sunlight. Leaves take energy from that sunlight and change it into food for the whole plant. Good job, leaves. So, what are the parts of this plant? Let's name them. What are these? They are roots. What about this part? It is the stem. And these? These are leaves. Some plants have flowers, too. Next time you see a plant, try to name the parts. Okay, so that was a very nice video about the parts of the plant. So let's read our magazine. All right, it says, munch, munch, plant parts for lunch. Look at this. This is a panda bear, and he is eating bamboo. That's what pandas eat. They eat bamboos. Munch, munch, plant parts for lunch. This panda eats a stem, a bamboo stem. And here's a donkey. And what is the donkey eating? Right, it's a carrot. And the carrot is the root of the carrot plant. Munch, munch, plant parts for lunch. This donkey eats a root. There's the root. <laughs> Look at this. Wouldn't you love to hold this little animal? This is called a koala bear. And he eats the leaves of eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves. Munch, munch, plant parts for lunch. This koala eats a leaf. And over here is a cute little bunny, little rabbit. And he eats the flowers, dandelion flowers. I'm sure you're going to start seeing those popping up in your yards everywhere. Munch, munch, plant parts for lunch. This rabbit eats a flower. And then over here is um, a sunflower, and you are to label the parts. So what is this part of the flower? Right, that is called the flower. <laughs> so you would take this and you would move it over here or write flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, flower.
And what is this part? Right, those are the leaves. So say leaf, L-E-A-F, leaf. And then the tall center stick that holds up the plant. What is that called? Right, that is the stem, S-T-E-M, stem. And the bottom part, that is the root system. So R-O-O-T, roots. All right. So we'll turn the page. And here at the back is a little graph. So it says, graph the garden. Count the vegetables growing in the garden. Color the graph to show how many there are of each. Click one box for each vegetable. So let's see. Lettuce, how many do you see in our picture? So here is lettuce. I see one, two, three. So we go down here and we go across to three. Maybe we can color them all in, make like a bar graph. How many carrots do you see? Oh, here's carrots. I see one, two, three carrots. They are the same, same amount, three and three. How many tomatoes do you see? I see one, two, three, four. It has the most so far. Four is winning. And then our radishes, one, two, and it has the least amount with two. So we have two that are tied, one that is the most, and one that is the least. Okay, so go back. Ba, ba, ba. Get out of this. <laughs> And we're going to go back here. And there's a game here. If you go on to your Let's Find Out, you can play this game. So here is the game. And it says, build a plant. Choose roots. So you press play. Choose roots. And I say, I want to build... Hmm. I don't know. Oh! It's wanting me to build that one. Choose a stem. Let's see. I want a prickly one. Choose leaves. Hmm. We can put all kinds of leaves on our plant, different kinds. I think I like this one here. Choose a flower. Ooh. Hmm. I think we want this purple flower. Choose a fruit. Or no fruit? Uh, I think I do want a fruit. I want this purple fruit. Ooh, that's a pretty flower. Now, choose how to water your plant. Should we want it to rain a small amount or a large amount? Mm, I think it's going to rain. Good work. All right, so you can build your own flower <laughs> on your site if you would like to join. And you can play as many times as you would like. Um, and then there's also a dance break that you can push on. And you can dance to this and get some exercise. Or you can um, have a plant tasting. So there are some little science activities that you can do. And there are some papers that you can... Um, use either draw what kind of plant you're eating. This is a root. So what is a root? Like a carrot. A stem could be like a piece of celery. And the fruit, you could draw an apple. And then you taste them and you say if it's good tasting, eh, okay, eh, or bad tasting. So you decide. All right, boys and girls, so there's plenty of things on here for you to do. There's more activities down here if you would like to try them out. And here is your plant part test 
taste, taste testing. All right, boys and girls, I will see you again for Science Another Day. Bye-bye.